And other breaking news, <laughs> we talked about uh, Heidi Montag on the show the other day, the girl that was on the cover of People magazine who had 10 plastic surgery procedures, one of them being a facelift, basically, at 23 years old. Yep. Yes. I think, oh, if you guys watched the show the other day, this is who it was. And she's 23, and of course... She's uh, dating a young man by the name of a Dirty Rat Bastard, I think is official. <laughs> and um, I was, you know, trying to figure out what would possess this young girl, who a lot of us have, uh, we've seen her grow up on the show called The Hills, a reality show. Yep. And, you know, we saw when she first met this guy and the change that took place in her wanting to keep him in her life. Yep. And he's a gaslighter, if you know that movie Gaslight. But anyway, Heidi was on Good Morning America revealing her new look. The reporter, Juju Chang, is this the part where she asks her if she's addicted to plastic mm -hmm. surgery? Mm -hmm. Okay, because she had 10 procedures in a 10-hour process, under anesthesia for 10 hours. In some of the stuff she had, uh, she had the facelift, you know, the brow lift, and the um, chin reduction. She had her breasts enlarged. She had her yep. nose redone. She had liposuction all over all ears parts of her body. Back. She had her ears pinned back. Now she can only hear if you're standing right next to her. <laughs> um, but here's what she had to say when, when uh, and I'll talk about Juju in a second, but here's the reporter Juju Chang asking her if she's addicted to plastic surgery. I'm not addicted. If I were addicted, I would have had 10 plastic surgeries and look you like... You did have 10 plastic well, surgeries. Well, I mean 10 times. I really had two different surgeries. I had one three years ago, and then I had one that I had several procedures done um, weeks ago. Okay, so she had 10 surgeries in one day, but she's counting it by the day. <laughs> okay, now this is the part that really bothered me, guys. You are very much an idol to young girls. You are on the cover of a magazine, you are a big name in Hollywood, and these young girls are reading what you say about Triple D isn't big enough, that I wasn't pretty enough, what kind of message does that send to young girls? Well, my main message is that beauty is really within. <laughs> she, she really was so distinctive and attractive looking before. And I know now she's more generic. And to some people, it might be what floats your boat. You might like to look that way. But she, you know, the interviewer says, are you really trying to look like a Barbie? Do you want to see that part sure. of the clip? Do you guys want to see it? Okay, we'll show it. Uh, but you would rather look like Barbie than Heidi? No, I think that I do look like myself. I think I just look like a different, improved version of myself. Okay, you guys decide. Let me just do this little thing we did upstairs. This is the plastic surgery Heidi. This is how she looks now. Unrecognizable to me. I've seen her in real life. But this is, this is the original Heidi. Beautiful, natural girl next door. Who wouldn't love to look like that? So who does she look like? More like the real version of herself or Barbie? <laughs> we laugh, but, yeah. you know, disturbing. Yeah. She looks so great. Well, yeah. What, honey? I said I would never have recognized her if you wouldn't have said that was her in the interview. She looks completely different. I know, like, and you wonder. Completely different. Can I ask a young girl in the audience? Any, right here. Wait, wait, honey. Can Hold we get on. a camera on you? Oh, well, she's three years older than I am, and that's just heartbreaking. So, would, what do you think when you see that? Like, do you ever feel that way? Do, do I feel any of bad all for your her. Are, pardon me. I feel bad for her. Like, mm -hmm. I know that I'm no, I'm not like a stick figure Barbie doll, but I'm at least comfortable enough to go out and have fun and be a 20 year old girl and not have to go and have surgery to make myself better. I know. I don't, I don't think that is better. Do you, any of you girls, would any of you consider doing any of that stuff? No, no, no. Because you're, I take it you're probably all in your 20s, right? Yeah. 18. 18. You're 18. Yeah, 18. And probably. did you ever, do you ever look up to her as some icon? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. And, and the, the reason that she's like, I just don't get how she says, like, how beauty is found within when she goes and does all these things to her body. It's just, it's so sad because if you were really, like, comfortable on your own skin, you would, like, not go through all these surgeries. No, yeah. 19. And the thing is, is that it's true. You, you, I just, when you see her, you just see a very, very confused young girl. Because I think she does believe beauty's on the inside. I think she, her, uh, you know, choose companions with care, you become who they are, as my mother always said. And I think, uh, you know, your standards start to differ when you're in a different world. Thanks, girls.
Wait a second. You know what? I shouldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is her new album. Guess what the title is, guys? Superficial. <laughs> but her boyfriend has an album out as well. <laughs> You know, now plastic surgery, once you have it, it's kind of a sign that you are older. Well, that's... So now it's becoming the look of aging. Right. Plastic surgery is an aged look, I think. No, you're right. And that's what we thought when we saw that, when we saw the new picture of her. It was I like... know. I should talk, though. You know, I've got that crease here, the parking meter. I stood in the corner the other day. A guy parked in front of me and tried to put a quarter in my forehead. <laughs> But I, I haven't, you know, I haven't done any of the Botox or anything. I did but the this, forehead pulled back. You thing. did? You had your yeah. forehead pulled back? Yeah. We, uh, we went way too far. I don't know. You know what? My mom has that same crease in her head. And as I get older, I look at it and I go, that's my mom. And it's like I don't want to... You don't want to lose that, right? Well, I'd like to lose it. Really, <laughs> okay. but, uh, 